guys, welcome to the farm. Come on in for a good meal today. Today we're having a girls luncheon. Today we're going to be doing a strawberry salad and we're going to be doing a strawberry balsamic vinaigrette to go on it. We're going to be doing a spinach and bacon quiche and we're going to be doing strawberry pavlovas for dessert. This time of the year here in Georgia is just the beginning of strawberry season. So that's why I chose to do all the recipes today featuring strawberries. And of course, you can't beat a girl's luncheon. Some of your friends come into your life for a season and some come in for a reason. And today, my best friend Lynn from high school, we go way back, her and her daughter Gracie are joining us for lunch today, as well as a relatively new friend, one of my coworkers at one of the hospitals, April. Um, we've known each other for a couple of years. We've worked together into the ER. Um, she's gonna be coming over for lunch as well. So, uh, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with our dressing, and then following our dressing, we're gonna go out to the garden and we're gonna harvest some stuff for our salad. So, the dressing is super easy. Um, it is a strawberry balsamic vinaigrette dressing. It'll keep into your fridge for about five days. Um, probably won't last that long, but it will keep up, um, up that long. This happens very well, so if, it's, if you're just making it for just a couple of people, feel free to half in all the ingredients, and it's super easy to whisk up. I've went ahead and prepped all my ingredients. Um, the ingredients call for two tablespoons of um, lemon juice, two tablespoons of chopped up shallot. And for those of you who don't know what a shallot is, it's a tiny, tiny little onion, a little bit stronger, but not, not as oniony of a flavor. It's kind of like a cross between a garlic and an onion. Um, uh, four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and get the best balsamic vinegar that you can afford. Most of them, are relatively inexpensive. This one just happens to be an age when I think it was about nine bucks. Um, six tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of salt, and a half of a cup of diced up strawberries. And you could do a rough dice on them because they're all gonna go in the blender. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna basically just take our ingredients over here to our blender. We're gonna put them all in. That is just truly how simple this recipe is. It's just put everything in and mix it together. Some vinaigrettes, they want you to drizzle your olive oil in, but this isn't one of them. This is one just put everything in. Get all of those shallots out. I love the flavor of a shallot. I actually have some growing in the garden for the first time this year, and I hope they make. This is gonna be our dressing. Liam was telling me that they went to one of the strawberry farms yesterday and picked strawberries. And uh, here in the deep south, we're fortunate to have several strawberry farms. So if you come on over here, we're gonna go ahead and just whisk this up really, really, really quickly. I'm gonna try to do it on a puree. Let's see. not working. Be right back. Got the problem, the blender <laughs> plugged up. So thanks to Lynn, we got this figured out. So we're just going to pulse it and uh, so the blender got really good. It doesn't take long at all. You really just want to emulsify it until your strawberries are blended up. Take a look at it. I had the coffee maker. There we go. I had the coffee maker plugged up, and so the blender wasn't. We didn't know that. We got us a cute little decorative jar here. We're going to put our salad dressing in it. You can serve this two ways. You can either mix it into the salad, or you can serve it on the side. And I'm going to serve it on the side because everybody likes a different amount of salad dressing. All right. There is your salad dressing. We'll put all this in the sink. And when we come back, we're going to be out at the greenhouse harvesting our salad blend. So we'll be right back. All right, here we are in the garden. I'm going to let you pan around and see what we've got going in the garden so far. We've been working really, really hard on it. And I apologize if you're picking up some wind noise. It's still kind of windy out here, but we got a long way to go, but um, we've come a long way. But today for the salad, I'm going to uh, harvest some of the kale. This is all ready to be harvested. This age is. This is the younger kale that we've got back here, but we're just simply going to uh, get 
bleach off some of the leaves and then we'll wash them and we'll pinch them up make them smaller for the salad I love kale one of my favorite ways to eat it is to just take it and cut it up and mix it in an omelet in the mornings got a little bit of insect damage to some of it but not bad I found some tomato worms in here one day and uh, those of you who know tomato worms know that they'll do a lot of damage really quickly. All right, so we're gonna head on in the greenhouse and pick the salad branch. Just a few carrots to put in our salad. Um, these are different varieties. Some are purple, some are yellow. So I have that look what we're gonna get. We're only gonna get a couple today just because I don't want a whole lot in the salad. These will be purple, but that'll be pretty up against those strawberries. So we got purple today. Aren't those beautiful? All right, on to the greenhouse. And while we're here, let's walk over here to the herbs and I'm gonna harvest some of the um, mint because we're gonna use some of the mint in our tea and we're gonna use some on our desserts. Watch out for these. This is some sweet mint. We're just gonna pick off a few little leaves off the top. For our dessert. Uh -oh. Mint's one of those things it'll just keep making and making. Can you give us a few pieces? A couple more and then that should be in our we'll use it in our tea and we'll use it on our dessert. Alright, now let's head into the greenhouse and we'll pick the salad. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's head on into the greenhouse now. We'll harvest our greens for the day for our salad. All right, you're gonna pick up some fan noise, and for that, I apologize. But as you can see, the greenhouse is full with all sorts of seeds coming off, everything from flower seeds to uh, okra to different lettuce blends, a little bit of everything. Um, but in this bed, we have a mess corn salad blend. This is my second bed for the year. This one won't last much longer because once it starts getting hot, this wilts very, very easy. And so uh, we'll get a few cuttings off of it and then the rest will go to the animals. But we're gonna just go ahead and start cutting some for our salad for today. This is a very soft blend lettuce. And there's all different varieties in there. Like I said, this is a blend. And so there's three or four different salad types growing here. So when we come back, we'll have our salad picked and we'll head inside to wash our salad up and finish our salad out for lunch. So we'll all right, welcome back. We're gonna start um, assembling our salad. We picked our greens in the greenhouse and I have washed them. This is a real neat contraption. It just, uh, you put your greens in there and you rinse them and then you spin it. It's a salad spinner and it spins them all dry. And I was gonna tell you too, we picked this in the greenhouse. Uh, we didn't do this on camera, but this is some red vein sorrel and it's just real pretty to add to a salad, especially something that's got red in it like the um, strawberries. So we're just gonna put our salad mixture in our salad bowl. And it may not hold all of this, so we may not use all of the salad. I think I hear somebody pulling up. All right, next we're going to add about a half a cup of crumbled feta. And I'm just going to take this and crumble it. It's, this is a little bit big chunk, so I'm going to crumble it up a little bit. I'm going to put the feta over it. And if you don't like feta cheese, which feta is a very strong cheese, if you don't like it, you can leave it out. But um, with the strawberries, it just goes really good. And you don't have to put that much. I'm gonna put about a half a cup, but um, you don't have to put that much if you don't want to. You don't have to put any. All right. Then next we're gonna add, we have cut up some cherry tomatoes. We're gonna to add those on there. Scatter those around. Then we're gonna do our cucumbers. I just diced the cucumbers up, or quartered them up actually. I'm gonna spread those around. 
this is a beautiful, beautiful salad. This is just one cucumber. I'm not gonna use all, quite all of it. And whatever we don't use, trust me, animals here on this farm, we'll definitely use. All right, then we're gonna, this is some, here comes April, um, some purple onion, excuse me, purple carrot that we pulled up from the garden. And how pretty is that? We're just gonna toss that on top. Come on in, we're filming. No, come on, come on in. This is April. That's April. Hey. Film April. Yes. Say hey, April. Uh, hey. All right. So this is some purple carrot. That just adds another dimension and another color. If you don't like carrot, don't add it. Then we're going to add about a fourth of a cup of finely shaved red onion. If you don't like red onion, don't add it. I happen to love it. And that has got a little piece on it. But anyway, we're going to add our red onion. As far as I know, everybody that's eating today likes red onion. You like red onion? You like red onion? I know your mom still says she likes red onion, Gracie. And then the last thing we're going to add is our strawberries. And I have just sliced up our strawberries. And this will be beautiful with the strawberry vinaigrette. We made a strawberry vinaigrette balsamic dressing earlier, April. Yeah. That's going to be good. All right, so how beautiful is that? Get a close-up of that. And we're going to put that in the refrigerator and it'll be ready when we get ready to eat. And up next, we're gonna start the quiche. So we'll see you soon. All right, welcome back. We're gonna start preparing the quiche now. I have a deep dish pie crust, a pre-made pie crust, or you can make your own pie crust. I just, you know, for time's sake, didn't. Um, we can do pie crust another day. But anyway, I've got six eggs and we're just gonna whisk our eggs together real good. The more you break them down, the more evenly they'll cook. And to our six eggs, we're gonna add a cup of half and half. You can make it with half and half or if you want it a little bit richer, you can actually use heavy whipping cream. But today I'm gonna use half and half. And then, whew, we're getting it everywhere. And then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. There is a huge difference to me in the taste between pepper in a grinder and pepper that just comes out of a can. So do yourself a favor and spend the extra couple of dollars just for the grinder. And then we're gonna put just a pinch, like a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk that all up together. All right, both y'all like quiche? Mm -hmm. Gracie, you like quiche? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, quiche is one of my favorite things. It's quick, it's easy. We have chickens, so of course we have plenty of eggs. I wanna show y'all our eggs, so we don't have any left, but um, we have Easter Eggers and we have brown layers, so they lay all different color eggs. Um, some are bluer, some are dark, more dark brown, but um, we even occasionally have the duck egg. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by layering. This is a two cup pack of um, mozzarella cheese, so we're gonna layer half of the pack, about a cup, on the bottom and then we're going to take a pack of pre-cooked bacon i'm going to put that on there may not use all of it just make you a good layer of it and then i have cut up a cup of um, baby spinach and i've kind of chiffonaded it you have to google that one if you don't know what that means but it's just fine little slivers so we're going to put a cup of spinach down and then we're gonna put a bunch of green onions that I have kind of finely sliced. If y'all hear that tick, 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 and that's the little dog running around. That's what I call him, tick, tick, because that's the noise he kind of makes. But anyway, then we're gonna pour our egg mixture over it once it's beat real good. I've got my oven preheated to 375. If you think this will um, spill over, you can put some parchment paper down. I'm hoping, being that it's a deep dish, it won't. I'm just gonna pour this all around. May not take quite all of it. Yeah, I wouldn't put quite all of it in there. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with some more mozzarella cheese. I think this is uneven a little bit. Doesn't that look good though? What's your favorite kind of quiche, Kim? Spinach. Spinach? Mm -hmm. How about you, Gracie? Spinach. All right, we are in luck today. 
is that is what we're having. And this will cook off for about 35, 40 minutes. Just make sure that your egg is set really good. And the key with quiche is to make sure you let it cool just a little bit before you cut it, okay? All right, so that's going to go in the oven. And when we come back, we're going to dish up all our dishes and start serving. So we'll see you back in a minute. All right, welcome back. Uh, here we have completed everything. I'm going to run through it one more time with you. We have our strawberry balsamic uh, salad dressing. We have our strawberry salad, uh, fresh strawberry salad with our greens from the greenhouse. We have a spinach and bacon quiche. This is our dessert. Um, I've not filmed making it. It's called pavlova's. It's a type of a meringue, um, but I will link the recipe down below um, the video for it. This is also uh, the topping that goes on it is just simply a mascarpone cheese. You take four ounces of mascarpone cheese, mix it with a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna show you the way we'll serve this. When you um, put your pavlovas on a pan, you can do one big one or I've done several different little ones. Hold on just a second, Gracie, and let me get to show them that. And I'm gonna get a dessert dish. And I'm gonna show you how we gonna serve it up. We're gonna get a pretty little dessert dish and um, they'll start cratering in the middle. And this is just like a meringue, like you would have on the top of a cake, basically. And we're gonna put a good dollop of this mascarpone cheese mixed with the heavy whipping cream. This is not sweet because this is so sweet, the uh, meringue and the strawberries. And all I have done is taken my strawberries and added sugar to them. And uh, once the sugar dissolves, it makes a, a, a real thick syrup. So we're gonna put a big dollop of our strawberries on top of our mascarpone cheese. And a little sprig of our mint to dress it up a little bit. There's your pavlova. So anyway, us girls are fixing to enjoy our meal and we hope you have a very blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye. It's so pretty, Treasure. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Let's eat.